squeeze with the legs, squeeze with the legs, through the trees. I feel like I'm in Star Wars right now. Woo, that could have been bad. I did it. Oh. What's up Chicklets? How are you guys doing today? Today's video is going to be a little bit different. As you can see, we're starting out on the bike already and I'm actually wearing a microphone attached to my helmet right now. So uh, other than this first part at the very beginning right here where I am actually recording in the studio right now, the rest of my voiceover is recorded while I was riding. So this is my first attempt at what you could call a moto vlog. Woo! That was messed up. A lot of you might not be interested in this, but after you guys watch this for a few minutes, let me know what you guys think. If you like this kind of content, if you want to see more of it, or if I should like tweak it a little or just abandon it all together. Woo! This is definitely a unique experience for me. I would change some things around, trying to mix it up a little bit, and I'll get better as I do it more. But uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this and are at the very least entertained by my mediocre dirt bike skills. So without further ado, here is my ride up at Jones Creek Trail and my inner monologue as Woo! I ride. Sorry, I'm not talking at all because this taking all my concentration not to crash. And whew, I am out of shape. But whew, that was a close one. Oh, they logged this whole thing. Whew. Okay, you guys. This, this is completely different right here than it's been in the past. All this used to be trees, cover, as you can see, whew, they freshly logged all this. Oh man, okay. I don't think I said it to begin with, but welcome to my first try at a moto vlog. Oh, <laughs> what an epic time to kill the engine. <sighs> okay. All right, back in business. So as I'm riding, I'm trying to remember all the little tips and tricks I've learned from YouTube. And let me tell you, wow, they absolutely destroyed these trails with the logging that they did here. As you guys can see, all that has been destroyed. Okay, now that I'm whew, to the top of the hill, man, this is gonna be depressing to watch back and be like, oh good, you're out of shape, dude. You need to learn how to ride. And to answer that, you are right. I am out of shape and I do need to learn how to ride. Ooh. Here. Granted, it's a forest, so that's to be expected, but still. See, this is what I'm talking about 
going up on these berms, through the trees. I feel like I'm in Star Wars right now. Watch out! <laughs> Woo! That's what I'm talking about. Only in Star Wars, they didn't have to worry about logs falling on the ground. I guess just logs swinging from Ewoks in the air. Or not Ewoks. Draw, no, yeah, I had Ewoks, so. Sorry, okay. Let's take Jones Creek. Whew, okay, let's do a kill count. We are at kill count number three. Stop, collaborate, and listen. Ice is back with a brand new addition. Something grabs a hold of me tightly. Flow like a hawk. Move daily and nightly. No, will it ever stop? All right, this was one of my this was one of my favorite parts coming up here of the trails last year. We'll see what it looks like this year. Woo! 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 Downshift, downshift. Danger. legs. Stop using my arms. Squeeze with those legs. Woo! Okay guys, <laughs> this whole Vlogging while riding this rough terrain is rough. <laughs> no pun intended. Okay, here it is. Oh, they trimmed it. All this used to be covered in vines. It was glorious. Woo! 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 Yeah! That wasn't so hot. Squeeze with the legs, squeeze with the legs. Not with the arms. Oh yeah. Okay, and you sit. Woo! Yeah, I definitely. scared me, I'm not gonna lie. Stop. Whew. Okay guys, my arms. Whew. Okay guys, back on the road. Just had to take a quick little drink because it is warm today. When I left the house, it was supposed to be only 80, and it ended up being 97 degrees. And as you guys know, I don't do well with heat. All right. Shoulders up, knees bent on my toes. Oh, look at this, beautiful, look at this. I don't know if you guys can see it very well, but it is gorgeous up here. Except for all that dead log trees, that's a little bit of a bummer, but the green is gorgeous. Beautiful blue sky. What's crazy is I saw there was, what's crazy is the parking lot down below was the busiest I have ever seen it. Yet, since I've taken off on the trails, I haven't been passed by or caught up or seen anybody else out here. It's kind of weird. I mean, I guess a lot of them were leaving for the day. It is towards the end or later half of the day, but. I was hoping to catch up with some people to go riding with. 
All right. Jones Creek is to the right. down contacts are drying out with all this not blinking Whew. I think I have my finger on the clutch there oh yeah oh yeah blink James blink the only downside of riding this is I'm so focused on the trail that I can't take in the beauty as much. Woo! Whoop de whoops! I'll speed up this hill. Woo! Don't want to fall off the cliff there. That would suck. Don't tell Ashley. Downhill, breaking, breaking. Don't want to ki kill myself today. Don't want. Oh, look at Mount Hood in the distance. Did you guys see that? I just caught a glimpse of it out of the corner of my eye. Woo! Okay, adjusting to the shadows, downshifting. Bump. Didn't see that one. Oh, if I remember right, this area up here is pretty cool. Come on, eyeballs, adjust to the dark. Woo! Woo! Big bounce. Wow! Sunglasses does not do well in here. I need like those visors that adjust when it's bright and dark for this kind of terrain. Of course, those take far too long. Oh man, look at that drop. Woohoo! All right. Open them back up a little bit. Woo! This is my first time doing this trail this year, guys, so all of this is brand new to me because, I mean, it's a very similar terrain as far as, like, obviously the trail is the same place, but all the little bumps and logs and rocks completely different every time or I guess not every time but every year so I'm trying to be somewhat careful right now Ashley don't worry oh <laughs> Woo! look at that perfect timing oopsie the trail you're about to ride has been built or maintained by volunteers Maybe that's why it's a little rougher. Uh. And my bike is down. Ah. Are you okay, little bike? I'm sorry. You were dusty. Slippery. Did I do any damage? Oh, man. Steep hill. 
heavy bike. Not good. Everything looks fairly straight. I don't see any major issues. Whew. Whew. All right, nice leisurely little stroll. Blackberry vines. That was kind of sketchy. I'm pretty sure you're not allowed to just come up here and shoot some weaponry. Man, they destroyed these trails. Last year this was so much more beautiful. That is such a bummer that the logging, I mean, the logging company owns the rights to it, I'm sure. But it was such a beautiful tree covered trail the whole time. All right guys, I'm not gonna lie, I think I tweaked my thumb a little bit when I fell back there. So I'm not at a 100% right now. Don't fall on the bricks. Don't fall on the bricks. By the way, I say that kind of stuff in my head a lot and I'm just making it a point to have no inner monologue on this ride. Usually my mind is always going and I'm just trying my best to just speak out loud because otherwise, I'll just be silent, and that's no fun. Well, maybe it is. Maybe you guys really don't like hearing me talk. We'll find out after this video goes up. Whew. Okay, feeling a little better. A little cooler at least. I was overheating back there too. I just caught myself being quiet. Uh, well, hopefully with some music and some slight editing, this will be a fairly entertaining video for you guys. Well, at the very least, if you guys are thinking about coming out to Jones Creek Trail for a ride, you now have the full course, or at least if I finish, you'll have the full course with no edits. I've got some fatigue. Squeeze with the legs. Remember to squeeze. That was a fun little portion. It's always fun when you can cruise around those corners and not get any terrifying moments in your head. Well granted, it is the terrifying moments that make dirt bike riding somewhat more exciting and exhilarating. You're like, oh crap, I could have just killed myself right there. 
which I know to some people is like, well, why the heck would you want to do that? It's the same reason people like skydiving and other fun things. Not to mention, the views you get at some of these locations are pretty incredible. Woo, there it was, that was a little bit of air. You got this, James. You got this, James. Woo! Cruising through the hill forest. Gonna try not to die. My poor little pointer finger is killing me. What finger do you guys use while riding to keep on your clutch? I'm assuming most of you watching this ride or have ridden in the past. Woo! was a person at first. I kind of got excited. I was like, oh, there's somebody else out here. Off the path! Woo! That was a little scary. Shouldn't have down or shouldn't have upshifted there. Difficult spot, come on baby, come on, ride that clutch. Oh, using way too much arm. Lean forward on the bike, James. Lean forward. Steep hiss hill. You guys probably can't tell, but this is crazy incline. If I stopped here, I would be screwed. Whew, especially that little spot. Almost slipped, almost slipped. Walking it up, <laughs> not gonna lie. Don't stop your momentum. Don't kill your momentum, James. Use your legs. You got more stamina than your legs. First one to find that. Okay. Sorry, kids. I am exhausted. Oh man. More hill. But I think I'm almost there. Oh. Not 
pretty, but it worked. I climbed that bank. Ooh, don't go to the right, James. Anything crash left. for this entire end half of the vlog. I am way too tired to talk. Not to mention concentrating. I'm on a flat spot. That, I bet you some people have gone straight over that, but that would have hurt me. Whew. I wonder if my camera's even rolling at this point. Oh, it is. For those of you, clean you off there. Oh, my whole wrist is coming off. Whew. Okay, okay. For those of you that have made it this far, you are hardcore. I'm gonna actually step off the bike for a second. I need a breather and hopefully nobody else comes up here. Okay, I'll be right back. Oh my gosh, I just had to step back here. I took a drink. But you can tell some people have either gone up here or there's even some like scrape marks here. You can see where people have bottomed out on. Oh man, that could have been bad. But I am, even though, even though I am exhausted, guys, I am loving getting out here. And it's, I haven't really talked about the reason. <laughs> the funny thing is I haven't really talked about why I came out here to begin with, uh, what to talk about or whatever. But I, the benefit of this has been, I've been so focused and so distracted that I haven't thought about it, which is kind of a good thing. It's, it's kind of therapeutic. Oh man, I am exhausted though. Okay, I'm pretty sure I'm almost near the top of the peak because the next highest mountain I see is over there. And I'm pretty sure it's just up the, behind these trees there where the sun is. Like, I think those are the peaks up there. So I think I'm ridiculously close. I just needed a quick breather. And then hopefully I'll get it up there. I'm dripping. the stuff right there.
around that time. I am glad I relaxed back there. So I have the energy to do those. I did it! Mother, I did it! Father, I did it! Oh man, look at that. The bike's alive, although I'm not gonna lie, I noticed some sort of fluid coming out down here, and I don't think I went in through sort of puddle, so I don't know what that is. But check out Mount Hood in the distance. It's beautiful. Oh my god, I'm gonna pass out. Oh man, where's a good spot to sit in the shade? I need a shady spot. That looks prime to me right there. Okay. Oh. oh, you guys. I am so fat and out of shape. Oh, but check out that view. So worth it. For those of you that made it this far in the video, you're awesome. Uh, leave a comment down below and say Mount Hood. Just This is completely new guys. I have never been down this way before. And yeah, I'm not gonna lie, kind of terrifying. So dang steep. I am having troubles focusing with this light changes. It's crazy. I wish, you guys, I missed it. There's a couple guys that came riding up and actually told me about this trail and they took off before I could ask them if I could tag along. But it would have been nice to be able to follow someone down this trail, someone who's done it before and has an idea of what they're doing. Whew. All right, this totally has a Return of the Jedi feel to it. Okay, all right, I can do this. Man, I got some fatigue going on. Oh my god. Down is way more terrifying than up, not gonna lie. Up, I guess you can still roll backwards, but I feel like down it's like you can't step even if you want to. I 
you're not gonna admit, not gonna lie, it is kind of cool, but definitely a bit on the freaky side. <laughs> Good news is when you kill it, it just kicks right back up again. Oh man, back out into the Deadwood Forest. Oh, check out that trail! This would be such an epic drone shot right here! That would be sick. Sure, some people are like, what are you doing crawling so slow down that hill? I'm nervous. Never done downhill rides like this before. Oh, that's why I'm nervous. Touchdown. Keep looking around to see if I can find those guys. But, oh. just got thrown out there. Apologies, kids. Man, this is rough terrain. Okay, uh, I'm assuming I go down. This is the trail I hit up last time I was out here. I remember this trail. Vaguely.
a little nervous on these blind corners if a big logging truck comes up this road or something, I'm done. So you've got to keep your eye out around the corners. So you never know what's coming up here. 4x4 four four logging truck, quads, dirt bikes. Right there, there it is. Life is an adventure, so get out there and make some memories.